Today I wanna to talk to you about the Pareto Principle and what that means for your restaurant. What the heck's the Pareto Principle? Hey everybody, Ryan Gronfen here, author, speaker, chef, restaurateur, and the founder of therestaurantboss.com as well as clickbacon.com. And like I said earlier, what the heck is the Pareto Principle? Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. It's the 80-20 rule. Maybe you've heard of that, maybe you haven't. Either way, stick around here because this is a law. I mean, it's not principle. This is a law. This has been proven over and over again. Now, in the late 1800s, an economist by the last name of Pareto discovered this in a paper that he wrote. He had noticed some different patterns, but the biggest pattern that he noticed was that 80% of the land in Italy was owned by 20% of the people. And then he started looking at this in all different kinds of, of arenas. He looked at it in sales, he looked at it in business, and people have studied this for well over 100 years. It's been proven over and over again. Like I say, it's called the 80-20 rule. In a real estate sales office, 20% of the people in the office are gonna produce 80% of the results. I was recently talking to a friend of mine who's the president of a very large Cisco distributorship, and he said that approximately 80% of the product they sell only goes to about 20% of their customers. Again, this repeats itself over and over in business, like Apple, for example. About 80% of their profits come from just 20% of their products. Think about it, between the iPhone and the Mac, that's gonna be 80% of the profit that Apple has. And so how does this relate back to your restaurant? Well, it's very simple. The question that I have for a lot of restaurant owners that aren't achieving the level of success that they want is, what are you doing with your time? Are you spending your time in the 80% zone or the 20% zone? Are you working on projects that are taking 20% of your time that are getting you 80% of the results? Or are you spending 80% of your time working on a project that's only gonna get you 20% of the results? Now, I know there's a time and a place, right? When you have multiple locations, 10, 20 locations, you can spend your time on those tiny little projects that make very little changes, but those little changes over the size of your company are huge. Unfortunately, I see a lot of independent restaurant owners spending a lot of time working on things like very, very, very detailed inventory and perfect financials and recipe costing every single thing. And they spend hours a week dozens of hours a month, a quarter, a year, working on these most perfect financials you could ever imagine. But the results they're gonna get from that effort are so small. I always say to those people, get out of your office, go out and shake someone's hand. Go talk to someone, go invite them into your restaurant, go have lunch with someone and work on growing your restaurant that way because knowing that the price of this recipe went up three cents, isn't gonna change a thing in your restaurant. If your restaurant isn't at the level of sales and profits that you want it to be, tracking those changes isn't gonna matter. Knowing how much poultry you purchase versus how much beef you purchase isn't gonna matter. The example goes on and on and on, right? How many times do I hear restaurant owners complain that they're always doing the same things every day? They're always telling their staff the same things. They're always putting out the same fires but they're spending 80% of their time putting out the fires instead of spending 20% of their time preventing the fire in the first place. So really, this was just designed to be a short video and expose you to this rule of 80-20, the law of 80-20, and to ask yourself the question of where are you spending most of your time and what results are you getting from that effort? Because there is not an equal relationship for time spent and output. The input is never equal to the output. Your goal is to leverage your time, right? Leverage your time by spending as little as possible on the projects that are gonna get you the biggest results, whatever those intended results might be for you. I hope you enjoyed today's training. I look forward to bringing you another one just like it next week. Go out and make this week wonderful. Have a great day. I wanna thank you for watching that video. If you can do me three really quick favors right now, very quick. The first is, if you haven't already, will you subscribe to this channel? 
in a moment, some things are gonna pop up on your screen, some buttons, and one of those buttons is gonna be subscribe. So whether you're watching this on my channel or on YouTube or on your phone, just stick around for one second and you're gonna see a big subscribe button. If you haven't already, could you please subscribe? Two, if you haven't liked this video, will you go ahead and click the like button? Actually, don't just click it, will you smash that like button and tell the world that you really enjoy this? Because the way that I can continue to bring you all this great free training is for my message to expand for more restaurant owners and future restaurant owners around the world to be watching this. And so the way to do that is to like my video. So again, if you're watching on YouTube, there'll be a place for you to like it. Or if you're back on my website, there'll be a place for you to like that. So smash that like button for me. And then also, could you leave a comment? Ask me a question. I reply to all my comments as fast as I can, usually within about 24 hours. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But go ahead and ask me a question, leave me a comment, tell me you love the video, tell me you'd like to see something else in a video. Or if you need more detail on a certain area, I can film other videos about that. But if you can go ahead in a couple seconds now, it's gonna come out. If you can subscribe, like, and comment, that would be great. Also, there'll be a spot in, the, in this little button coming out in a few seconds where you can download something for free. I'm always rotating that, so take a look at that, some free tools. But if you're new to my channel, if you've never seen my videos before, There'll also be a spot for you to watch a video that'll kind of introduce you to what I do here at the Restaurant Boss and at clickbacon.com and tell you about what we do and how you can get more involved and how you can get more free stuff and all that. So the buttons should be coming in by now. Go ahead and click on those and have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you so much.